Hello children, welcome back to our class. In the previous class, we discussed about quadratic equations. In that chapter, quadratic equations, we discussed how to find the roots of a quadratic equation by different methods. They are namely factorization method and um, completing square method and quadratic formula method and of course some strategies we discussed for some special quadratic equations. And now let us try to understand the particular methods and moreover the suitable methods by some examples. Okay, yeah, let us have a look and this is quadratic equations, right? Quadratic equations, right? We are going to discuss a few set of examples in this. For example, the first one is solve 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by x is equal to 1 divided by a plus b plus x. How to solve this quadratic equation? Of course, it is not in the standard form of a quadratic equation, but I would say that it is a quadratic equation. But how can I say that it is a quadratic equation? And moreover, what are the strategies to solve this particular equation? We will have to think about that. Okay. See, <clears throat> left hand side we have three terms which are fractions and right hand side there is only one fraction. So, if you just take left hand side completely and find LCM, then you get three terms. So, that by those three terms, I will get some huge fraction you will get in left hand side. So, just to avoid, let us try to balance this 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by x is equal to 1 by a plus b plus x. I will do one thing, I am going to transpose this 1 by x towards right hand side. Then the problem will become 1 by a plus 1 by b is going to be 1 divided by a plus b plus x plus 1 by x would be minus 1 divided by x. And then if you find the LCM here, b into 1 is equal to b plus a into 1 is equal to a divided by a into b is going to be ab which is equal to x into 1 is equal to x minus 1 into a plus b plus c since minus is there definitely you will have to keep a bracket a plus b plus x whole divided by a plus b plus x multiplied by x right let us try to simplify this is b plus a by ab is nothing but a plus b divided by ab and if you open up the bracket here it is going to be x minus into a minus a minus into b minus b minus into x minus x whole divided by a plus b plus x multiplied by x right you can cancel this x and x and remaining terms are a plus b divided by a b is going to be this is minus a minus b if you take one minus common from both the two terms then minus of a plus b divided by a plus b plus x multiplied by x see there is a single term in the numerator and single term in the denominator uh, in the numerator of the right hand side also so that if both the two terms are same then we can cancel them so a plus b once and a plus b once and now by cross multiplication or you can reverse both the fractions anything is okay this entire term into 1 is equal to this entire term similarly a b into this minus 1 is equal to minus a b now i am going to write that x into x is equal to x square plus x into a is equal to a x plus x into b is equal to bx is equal to ab into minus 1 is equal to minus ab. Correct? So, transposing minus ab towards left hand side, then it is going to be x square plus ax plus bx plus ab is equal to 0. See, it is easily, um, it can be easily factorized because from the first two terms, you can take maximum of x common from third term and fourth term maximum of b can be taken common. So, then x square plus ax 
x can be taken common so that x times remaining x plus a x plus a from third term and fourth term maximum of b can be taken common so that plus b times remaining here x and here a so x plus a is going to be 0 right totally we have x plus a common so that you can take x plus a common into x plus b is equal to 0 since the product of two terms equal to 0 either first term equal to 0 or second term is equal to 0 so that you can write it as x plus a is equal to 0 or x plus b is equal to 0 if x plus a is equal to 0 x is equal to minus a or x plus b equal to 0 x is equal to minus b therefore the possible values of x are going to be x is equal to set containing minus a comma minus b right so this way we can easily solve this kind of quadratic equations right 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by x is equal to 1 by a plus b plus x then the values of x are going to be minus a comma <coughs> minus b right okay let us move on to next example that is Question number 2, solve for x, of course the previous one also solving for x only, x square plus a divided by a plus b plus a plus b divided by a times x plus 1 is equal to 0. I am going to solve this quadratic equation. But if I want to solve this quadratic equation, what should I do? Because a divided by a plus b here and this is a plus b divided by a. So, if I want to take something common, it is not possible. Because from the first two terms, x square a by a plus b into x, so x only can be common. Okay, if I take x common, then x times x plus a by a plus b. But the other two terms are a plus b by a plus 1. So, from a plus b by a into x plus 1, I cannot take anything common other than 1. So, later on, there are no common factors. So, then definitely I will have to think about this. This is a divided by a plus b and this is a plus b divided by a. What kind of terms both are? a divided by a plus b, a plus b divided by a. Yes, both are reciprocals. So, what are there if they are reciprocals then what can we infer about that if they are reciprocals then their product is going to be 1 so 1 is already there right so that i am going to write this one as x square plus a divided by a plus b plus a plus b divided by a times x and i am going to write this one as a divided by a plus b multiplied by a plus b divided by a is equal to 0. Now, you see this is in which form basically suppose if I consider a divided by a plus b is equal to some alpha and a plus b divided by a is equal to some beta then this is going to be in the form of x square plus this is alpha and this is beta times x plus alpha into beta is equal to 0. Yes, this is in the standard form of roots where the roots are going to be minus alpha and minus beta. We had a discussion about this, right? So, otherwise, if you do not get any idea, then this is x square plus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to 0. If you factorize this, then it is going to be x square plus alpha into x is alpha x plus beta into x is beta x plus alpha into beta equal to alpha beta which is equal to 0. Right? From the first two terms, you can take one x common remaining x plus already x taken common alpha plus from these two terms, you can take one beta common remaining x plus alpha is going to be 0. So, totally x plus alpha is a factor, right? So, that x plus alpha is common factor into this is x plus beta is equal to 0. So, x plus alpha into x plus beta equal to 0, then easily we can say that what is the, what are the values of x. 
therefore the values of x are minus alpha comma minus beta of course you are aware of this but i am showing you once again if any quadratic equation is in the form of x square plus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta equal to 0 then the roots are going to be minus alpha and minus beta i will write that information here itself x is equal to minus alpha comma minus beta right when the quadratic equation should be in the form of x square plus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to 0 right so directly you can write the roots are minus alpha comma minus beta this is just i showed you how did i get those <coughs> roots x is equal to minus alpha and minus beta so moving back to our problem see here our problem is x square plus a divided by a plus b plus a plus b divided by a into x plus a by a plus b into a plus b by a is equal to 0 is in the form of x square plus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to 0. So, what is there in the place of alpha and what is there in the place of beta? Yes, therefore, x is equal to minus alpha comma minus beta where minus alpha is going to be minus in the place of alpha you have a divided by a plus b and minus beta is going to be a plus b divided by a so minus a plus b divided by a so these are the roots of the given quadratic equation means these are the values of x you understand so when you find some quadratic equations then without actually performing any calculations we can easily figure out the roots of a quadratic equation but you will have to observe that whether the quadratic equation is in this form or not x square plus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to 0 or not ok and let us solve one more quadratic equation ok so that is now solve for x so what is that quadratic equation here quadratic equation is solve for x now my equation is little different that is x square minus of root 2 plus 1 times x plus root 2 is equal to 0 ok this is one quadratic equation see here in this quadratic equation um, is it possible for me to get the roots without performing any calculations so definitely I will have to think because here root 2 plus 1 as sum of the zeros and root 2 is in the place of product of the zeros if these two are two zeros for example root 2 and 1 and here it should be root 2 into 1 should be there obviously root 2 into 1 is equal to root 2 and you know yes so you can write it as x square minus of root 2 plus 1 times x plus root 2 into 1 is equal to 0 is in which form is in the form of x square minus of alpha plus beta times x plus alpha into beta is equal to 0 you know this if this is the quadratic equation then what are the roots yes the roots are going to be x is equal to alpha comma beta right what is alpha what is beta here therefore alpha is equal to in the place of alpha you have root 2 and in the place of beta you have 1 therefore the roots are going to be alpha is equal to root 2 and beta is equal to 1 so this way you can easily find out the roots of any quadratic equation right ok let us move on to one more example that is solve for x what is that quadratic equation that quadratic equation is going to be x minus 1 divided by x is equal to 3 where x is not supposed to be 0 ok x minus 1 by x is equal to 3 but x is not supposed to be 0 if you once observe this given problem why this condition has been given x is not equal to 0 what happens when x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 here it is ok but if x is equal to 0 1 divided by 0 is undefined that is why x is not supposed to be 0 ok so that's what that was the condition to be the given problem defined ok so that is why that condition is given right so how are you going to solve this first of all you will have to 
um, understand one thing that x minus 1 by x is equal to 3 as you know that x and 1 by x are reciprocals and difference between a number and its reciprocal is equal to 3. Will you be able to guess such numbers? Maybe it is not that easier. Okay. Let us try to convert this into the standard form of quadratic equation. Okay. Then write this x as x divided by 1. Then it is going to be x into x is equal to x square minus 1 into 1 equal to 1 divided by 1 into x is equal to x is equal to 3 means 3 divided by 1. Since we have two equal fractions, of course, you will have to cross multiply. x square minus 1 into 1 is going to be x square minus 1 which is equal to 3 into x is going to be 3x. To write it in the standard form, transpose plus 3x towards left hand side, then it is going to be x square minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is the standard form of quadratic equation. But is it possible to factorize this by splitting middle term method? It is not possible because x square into minus 1 is equal to minus 1x square. What are the factors of 1? 1, 1s are 1. When you subtract 1 from 1, you will get 0, but it is 3. So, that is why it is not possible to solve this by using splitting Milton method. Then there is alternate that it is completing square method. Yes. Otherwise, what is that method? Our formula is also there. No? Better we use the formula, right? Before we use quadratic formula, you will have to equate this quadratic equation with the standard form of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c. Why? Because if you compare this, then you can identify the values of a, b, c easily. The value of a is equal to coefficient of x square that is 1 and b is the coefficient of x that is minus 3 and c is constant which is equal to minus 1, right? So, I will write, if you get any confusion, I will write here the values of a, b, c. a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 3 and c is going to be minus 1, right? These are the values of a, b, c. After writing the values of a, b, c, you should write the quadratic formula to substitute the values of a, b, c. Therefore, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a, right? Let us substitute which is equal to minus the value of b is going to be minus 3. So, minus 3 plus or minus square root b square, b square means minus 3 whole square minus 4ac, a is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 1 whole divided by 2a is 2 into a is equal to 1, right? If you simplify this, you will get minus of minus 3 is equal to 3 plus or minus square root minus 3 whole square is equal to 9 plus 4 into 1 into 1 is equal to 4 whole divided by 2 into 1 is equal to 2. Therefore, the roots are going to be 3 plus or minus square root 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 divided by 2. This is the value of x. Of course, if you use plus, you will get one root. If you use minus, you will get other root. This number cannot be simplified further because root 13 is an irrational number. So, this way we can solve this kind of problems. Okay? And I am going to solve one interesting problem here. That problem is, please <coughs> concentrate because this problem is going to be um, a hot kind of problem. Okay? So, what is that problem? Solve for x that is x minus 5 multiplied by x minus 6 is equal to 25 divided by 24 square. This is the problem x minus 5 multiplied by x minus 6 is equal to 25 divided by 24 square. Let us think how to answer this or how to solve this particular quadratic equation. See, x minus 5 into x minus 6 is equal to 25 by 24 square. Definitely, we will have to convert it into the standard form of quadratic equation. Okay? Let us try to convert it into standard form. That would be x minus 5 into x minus 6 is going to be x square minus 5 plus 6 is equal to 11x 
प्लस फाइव सिक्स आर थर्टी इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वेर ओके दट स्क्वेर बिलोंग टू ओनली ट्वेंटी फोर बट नॉट ट्वेंटी फाइव राइट सो एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस इलेवन एक्स प्लस थर्टी इज ईक्वल टू फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वेर राइट ना वट डू वी डू डू वी रियली यूज क्वाड्राटिक फॉर्मुला इफ यू यूज क्वाड्राटिक फॉर्मुला बी स्क्वेर माइनस फोर ए सी अफकोर्स इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट फ्रैक्शन एंड इफ यू सिंपल टेक एल सी एम देन द ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वेर कम्स इयर ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वेर इंटू इलेवन कम्स इयर ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वेर इंटू थर्टी एंड देन माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव यू विल बी गेटिंग ए वेरी ह्यूज क्वाड्राटिक इक्वेशन राइट देन डेफिनेटली यू विल हैव टू थिंक लॉजिकली अबाउट कंप्लीटिंग स्क्वेर मेथड we used this completing square method in order to derive quadratic formula have you remembered yes see here it is transposing 25 by 24 square towards left hand side and then before that writing this into the standard form of one square like a minus b whole square or a plus b whole square but it depends on the sign of the middle term so sign of the middle term is minus so that we can use a minus b whole square expansion in order to convert this as a square number okay right x square can be written as x whole square so a square minus 2ab that is minus 2 into a is going to be x into b 2 into x into how much is equal to 11x yes that is 11 divided by 2 because this 2 and 2 gets cancel x into 11 is equal to 11x okay so a square minus 2ab plus b square b is equal to 11 by 2 so that 11 by 2 whole square but 11 by 2 whole square is not there in our expansion but we want it that is why we are adding but for balancing the equation immediately you will have to subtract it that is 11 divided by 2 whole square now it is balanced and we left with one more number 30 that is plus 30 and anyway transposing 25 by 24 square otherwise you can leave it 25 by 24 square if you observe from here to here is in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square a square minus 2ab plus b square is the expansion of a minus b whole square right and next minus 11 by 2 whole square is going to be minus 11 square is 121 divided by 2 square is 4 plus 30 means 30 divided by 1 is equal to 25 divided by 24 square okay let us leave it like this because you want x that x is located here only that implies x minus 11 divided by 2 whole square see this is plus and this is minus so that i am using first to plus to avoid confusions 30 divided by 1 minus 121 divided by 4 is equal to 25 divided by 24 square okay if you simplify only these two terms 4 30s are 120 minus 121 divided by 4 so 430s are 120 minus 121 is equal to Minus one, minus one divided by four. So here it is minus one divided by four, transposing minus one divided by four towards right hand side. So it would be plus one divided by four. No confusion, right? Okay, that implies x minus eleven divided by two whole square <coughs> equal to twenty five divided by twenty four square plus one divided by four. Okay, let us try to understand this. Twenty-five by twenty-four square plus one divided by four. I am not going to change anything. I will just try to simplify this. What is the LCM for this twenty-four square and four? I will write as it is: twenty-four square into four. That is the LCM. And now twenty-five into four. I am not going to multiply, but I will write to twenty-five into four only. And then. Plus one into twenty-four square is twenty-four square. Okay. Now see here, this is twenty-five into four plus twenty-four square. How am I going to write that? This is x minus eleven divided by two whole square is equal to this is twenty-four square, right? 
writing 24 square plus this is 25 into 4 right I am writing 25 as 24 plus 1 into 4 whole divided by 24 square into 4 and then this is 24 square is 24 square plus this is 24 into 4 so 24 into 4 is there right I am writing it as 24 into 2 into 2 plus 1 into 4 is equal to 4 that can be written as 2 square whole divided by 24 square into 4 ok so finally x minus 11 divided by 2 whole square is equal to 24 square plus 2 square is a plus b whole square a square plus b square. If it is a square plus b square, is this 2ab? Yes, 2 into 2 into 24. 2 into 24 is a and 2 is b. So, totally the numerator is in the form of a square plus b square plus 2ab. It means a plus b whole square. But what is a here? a is 24 and b is 2. So, that I am writing it as 24 plus 2 whole square divided by 24 square into 4. See here it is 24 square into 4 is there now. Can I write this 4 as 2 square? Then it would be 24 into 2 whole square. So this is 24 into 2 whole square. Hope you understand this conversion which is equal to 24 plus 2 is equal to 26 divided by 24 into 2 is 24 into 2 whole square. Now it helps us to simplify easily. See here 2 1s and 2 13s are 26. So, the numerator is going to be 13 and the denominator is going to be 24 whole square. See the right hand side term of this equality is 13 divided by 24 whole square. It is a simple number. So, easily you can figure it out. So, I am going to erase a few steps of this problem. So, <coughs> right yeah let me take this x minus 11 by that implies x minus 11 divided by 2 whole square is equal to 13 divided by 24 13 divided by 24 whole square see left hand side has a square and right hand side has a square can we remove both the squares we should not remove like that because if I have x square is equal to y square, can I write x is equal to y? It is absolutely wrong. I should not write that. Why? Because if squares of two numbers are equal, then bases may or may not be equal. What is this? Something new, right? So, x square is equal to y square means squares of two numbers. For example, I have 4 which is equal to 4. Everybody knows that 4 is equal to 4. I am writing this 4 as minus 2 whole square and I am writing this 4 as plus 2 whole square. According to what you said here x square equal to y square then x equal to y. If I remove both the squares then I will get minus 2 is equal to plus 2. Is minus 2 equal to plus 2? Absolutely wrong. So, that is why if you want to remove the square then you will have to put if x square is equal to y square then x is equal to plus r minus y ok. So, this is very very important basic point and moreover we use this basic point in our intermediate chapter in the concept called functions. There is one function named 1 to 1 function r injection in that function this only x square is equal to y square then x is equal to plus or minus y plays a major role. So, that is why please be very careful it looks very simple but while thinking about this problem this particular concept it is really interesting right right x minus 11 divided by 2 ok x minus 11 divided by 2 whole square is equal to 13 divided by 24. So, according to our discussion <coughs> we can say that 
x minus 11 divided by 2 is going to be plus or minus 13 divided by 24. You can use first plus divided plus 13 divided by 24 and then you can use minus 13 divided by 24. That implies x minus 11 divided by 2 is equal to 13 divided by 24 comma x minus 11 divided by 2 is equal to negative 13 divided by 24. Okay? Let us try to think about this. Then the value of x is going to be 13 divided by 24 minus 11 by 2 will become plus 11 by 2. So, the LCM is going to be 24. Okay? 24, 24, 1s are 24, 1 13s are 13 plus 2 how much are 24, 2 12s are 24. So, 12 into 11 is equal to 1, 3, 2 which is going to be 13 plus 132 is equal to 145 divided by 24. So, this is one value of x. What could be the other value of x? Yes, you can easily say that the other value of x is going to be when you equate x minus 11 by 2 with uh, what is that number x minus 11 by 2 with negative 13 divided by 24. So, I am going to equate that ok another value of x and uh, x minus 11 by 2 is equal to negative 13 divided by 24. When you transpose negative 11 by 2 that side then it would be x is equal to negative 13 by 24 plus 11 divided by 2. Again, the LCM is going to be 24 and 24 1s are 24, 1 minus 13 are minus 13 plus 2 12s are 20, 2 12s are 24, 12 11s are 132. Now, you are going to subtract 13 from 132, right? Now, 12 minus 3 is equal to 9 and now this is 2. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, already 1 is there. So, negative or positive, it is positive 119 divided by 24. Therefore, the two values of x are 145 divided by 24 or 119 divided by 24. So, this way you can easily find out the roots of this quadratic equation. And let us have one more problem, that one more problem is uh, we already discussed about the nature of the roots, right? Nature of the roots of any quadratic equation depends on the value of b square minus 4ac. So, that is why b square minus 4ac is called discriminant of quadratic equation. And if the value of b square minus 4ac is positive or greater than 0, then the roots are real and distinct. If b square minus 4ac value is 0, then the roots are real and equal. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0 means negative, then the roots are non-real roots and they are unequal. Okay? We will discuss a few set of examples on the concept. Okay? The very first problem is going to be if the roots of if the roots of k x into x minus 6 plus 3 is equal to 0 are equal are equal then find the possible value or values of k this is what the given problem is okay if you observe the problem, if the roots of kx into x minus 6 plus 3 is equal to 0 are equal, when the roots are said to be equal, yes, the discriminant equal to 0. So, if you want to find the discriminant, our given quadratic equation should be in the standard form. right? So, what is the quadratic equation here? The quadratic equation is kx times x minus 6 plus 3 is equal to 0 writing it in the standard form just by multiplying these two terms k x into x is going to be k x square minus k x into 6 is equal to 6 k x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, it is in the standard form. Okay? So, you will have to compare this equation with the standard form of a quadratic equation that is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 to identify the values of a, b, c. 
here the value of a is going to be coefficient of x square that is k and b is equal to coefficient of x that is going to be minus 6 or minus 6k yes minus 6k so this is minus 6k and c is going to be c is equal to 3 so c is equal to 3 after identifying the values of a b c since the roots of this quadratic equation are equal since roots are equal if and only if delta is equal to b square minus 4 a c is going to be 0 ok substitute the value of b b is equal to minus 6 k square means whole square minus 4 a c 4 into a is going to be k and c is going to be 3 which is equal to 0 minus square is equal to plus 6 square is equal to 36 k whole square is equal to k square minus 4 into 3 is equal to 12 into k is equal to 12 k is equal to 0. See totally how much can be taken common from 36 and 12, 12 threes are 36. So, 12 can be taken common. k square and k obviously k is common. So, totally 12 k can be taken common remaining 12 threes are 36 k into k is k square minus 12 ones are 12 is equal to 0. So, 12 k into 3 k minus 1 is equal to 0. Shall we transpose 12 k that side? We should not do that because we are going to find the value of k only. So, that is why you will have to think about the possibilities of the values of k, right? See here 12 k multiplied by 3 k minus 1 is equal to 0 means what? product of two terms is equal to 0. When product of two terms equal to 0, either first term is equal to 0 or second term is equal to 0, 3k minus 1 is equal to 0. Suppose if 12k is equal to 0, if 12k is equal to 0, then the value of k is going to be 0. When 12k is equal to 0, 12 into how much equal to 0? sorry k into how much equal to 0 or 12 into how much equal to 0. So, the value of k is going to be 0. This is the first value of k and the second value of k is 3k minus 1 is equal to 0. 3k minus 1 is equal to 0 then 3k is equal to 1, k is equal to 1 divided by 3. This is one more value of k. Now, can we write k is equal to 0 and k is equal to 1 by 3 are the values of k? we should not. We will have to think about the given problem that the given problem is kx into x minus 6 plus 3 equal to 0. That is being a quadratic equation. When it is said to be a quadratic equation, we discussed in the very beginning about ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a is not supposed to be 0. That is the definition. Okay? So, when the value of k is equal to 0, here 0 into x equal to 0, 0 into x minus 6 equal to 0, 0 plus 3 is equal to 0, 0 plus 3 equal to 3, which is equal to 0. Is 3 is equal to 0? Absolutely no. And moreover, there is no quadratic equation if you put the value of k is equal to 0. That is why k cannot be 0. If k is equal to 0, it vanishes the quadratic term. So, therefore, k is not supposed to be 0. Therefore, the value of k is equal to plus 1 divided by 3. This is the possible value of k. Right? So, this way we can answer this problem. Right? And one more problem is given like this. That one more problem is if the roots of if the roots of b minus c multiplied by x square plus c minus a multiplied by x plus a minus b is equal to 0 are equal then prove that then prove that 2b is equal to a plus c. This is one of the problems given. If the roots of this quadratic equation are equal, then prove that 2b is equal to a plus c. Since the roots are equal, then easily we can say that b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. 
b square means what c minus a whole square minus 4 into b minus c into a minus c is equal to 0 definitely you will have to square it and then you will have to multiply all the terms then you will definitely get um, totally 6 terms in that expression so you will have to think a lot but if you once think logically we discussed about one special case of quadratic equations to find out the roots what is that special case in ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 if the value of a plus b plus c is equal to 0 then the roots are x is equal to 1 comma c divided by a have you remember this correct in any quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 if a plus b plus c equal to 0 means sum of zeros sum of the coefficients is equal to 0 directly you can say that the roots are 1 comma c by a but if you want to apply this strategy the sum of coefficients is supposed to be 0 so what does what is the coefficient here b minus c and what is coefficient here c minus a and here the coefficient is a minus b okay so b minus c plus c minus a plus a minus b obviously 0 therefore since sum of coefficients sum of coefficients is equal to 0 therefore the roots are therefore the roots are alpha is equal to 1 and beta is equal to c divided by a so 1 is 1 only but beta is equal to c divided by a what is c for this equation means constant is a minus b divided by what is a a is going to the coefficient of x square that is b minus c but in the problem itself it is given that the roots are equal the roots are equal means what alpha and beta both are equal so that since alpha is equal to beta alpha is 1 1 is equal to beta is a minus b divided by b minus c by cross multiplication you can say that a minus b is equal to b minus c right transpose minus b that side and c this side then it is going to be you have a here and transposing minus c would be plus c already you have b and transposing minus b would be plus b b plus b is equal to 2b is equal to a plus c therefore 2b is equal to a plus c this way we can easily answer this problem without using b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 so hope you understand we discussed few set of examples uh, for quadratic equations as well as for the nature of the roots of quadratic equations hope you understand thank you